Let's make Ugu Green Velvet Cake. And to make this cake, you would need Ugu, of course. Ugu. Inside cake. Hey! Okay. <laughs> it's funny, Abby. So what I did first of all was to dry some of the Ugu leaves to make Ugu dust that I was going to use at different times in this recipe. <laughs> now, wow! Some people to do wow. Then I mixed my butter and sugar, blended some ugu with some ginger, some lemon, and some lemon zest. I reduced that on the heat and added that paste to the butter and sugar mixture. Then I mixed regularly and added eggs, milk, flour, cocoa powder, and some green food coloring. I put that into my pan and let that bake for about 30 minutes. While it was baking, I uh, added some of that ugu dust, some lemon to the buttercream and set that aside. And there you have your ugu cake. We can't even have ugu now in peace without thinking about cake. What do you think? Are you going to try it out? Let me show you how I prepared this delicious combo because you have to try it. The only way I will be excusing this combo of okra and noodles is only if you're expecting you're pregnant because i don't understand okra noodles first of all put your water in your pot once it boils add your onion nicely chopped add your pepper nicely chopped then go in with your okra if you are looking for other ways to eat your okra this is one way that you don't want to miss andy is definitely a way i want to miss and secondly, I am not looking for any other way of eating my okra. Except you are pregnant. Ha! Huh. What kind of combination is this one? You know that okra does a lot of work with our blood in our bodies. That's right. But not in our noodles. You can enjoy yours though. It's a nice combo for you. So, this is one recipe you want to always try. Again, no. I don't want to try. Thank you. Thank you so much for offering. Okay, so once you add your noodles, make sure that you open it up like this so that the okra's aroma will enter into the noodles. Are you joking with us? No, be serious. <laughs> okay, auntie, let the singles breathe. Huh? Because only a pregnant man can be craving this kind of thing that you are trying to combine together in this video. Huh? Honestly, I am short of words. Spaghetti and okra. I woke up this morning very hungry, so I decided to make myself some cork stew, some cork sauce, and jello. You did use your fuck shot to play. <laughs> so let's get into it. Let me show you how I made this delicious cuisine. First, first, we started with our oil as usual, and then we got in with our vegetable. These are our onion, tomatoes, and green spices. So I'm just going to put that all together, and when we're going to fry them, make sure you fry your vegetables. Where well, then I'm going to go into another type of vegetable, our garden egg. This is my favorite vegetable. Look at how delicious it already looks. Then we're going to go for our cook. Move it. I Ooh. use my niece and you know, to prepare this recipe. So after that, we're going to get our all our fried ingredients out of the pot then we're going to wash our corks make sure you wash yeah. your cork make sure you wash the under of the corks and make sure it's very very clean before you start cooking anything so this is our corks washed and clean so first we're <laughs> going, then we're going to get in with our water <laughs> ah, the way these content creators eh the way they are messing with our heads eh world class chef it can only be water. It can, it can only be water. And I want to, I just want to hope that at the end of this, you're cooking. You are going to sit down and eat this thing that you have cooked together by yourself. Mm -hmm. We're going to get in our water, then we'll, we'll get in with our salt. When the water has boiled very well, we're going to go in with our salt. Then we're going to mix that all together. We'll make sure that the salt has melted in the water. So this is me mixing it all together. Then when I'm done mixing it, I'm going to go in with our crock. 
we will let that cook for about five minutes then we are going to go in with our our spice that we are already fried our spice and our vegetable are already fried guys look at how delicious it already looks i'll give you the health benefits of cook so this is me mixing it all together and it's already ready so this is me serving it in the plate and then after when we're done with this we're going to then go in to make our jellof so this is me serving it guys look at how nice it is and don't forget to sign up for our classes coming up soon our co <laughs> cooking class all right so she's she's having cooking class you guys better join before the ticket runs out cooking class is coming up soon so this is me and at this point i'm going to wash you guys after putting water hot water on the fire i'm going to wash you guys all together and then i'm going to get into with some salt i'm going to add some salt in the boiled water so this is how it looks after i've put the rice in the water and the rice is cooking so this is how it looks when the rice is already ready and at this point it's already ready to be served guys mm. it's just left for you to serve it with your sauce and this is the end result this is what we have please read my cooking in the comment section and do not forget <laughs> to get your favorite enhancement products from kika's empire so the advantages of crocs too is that for people who are suffering from from shortage of blood you know when you wear your slippers and it gets to where we put your slippers on your legs your blood it drains all your blood from your legs <laughs> it is smoky but it is taking the air so if you want to recharge that blood you need to cook the slippers and then you eat oh yeah now eat it auntie eat it actually going to make it make you retract the blood that was in the slipper so let me show you how you eat it first you're going to take your rice this is my rice i'm going to put it in the crock then i'll take some part of the sauce some vegetables or put it inside then i'm going to mix it all together like this and then and then i'll eat it that's how. do me a favor please get out of here get out of here man this is not your regular moi moi recipe. Okay now. Watch till the end of this video to see what I did differently. We are watching. Paying full attention. Yeah. After peeling off the back of my beans and washing it clean, I'm going to soak it in water for some more minutes to soften the beans. This pepper blend or mix is very <laughs> important and please don't skip the ginger because it gives it a very unique and amazing flavor. While frying the pepper mix, I'm going to add in some tomato paste. Wait. Is that tomato paste inside moi moi hey yes, and i'm going to fry it and make sure it doesn't have any sour taste once your beans is soft you're going to blend it into a thick paste all you need to do is make sure the water is on the same level as the beans so just a little bit above the beans and so i added some freshly extracted coconut milk into my coconut guinea coconut what hey my beans i added some ground crayfish seasoning cubes some salt for taste and some curry powder huh what relationship has curry got to do with moi moi hey and finally i'm going to go in with the fried pepper mix i'm going to just mix everything thoroughly till they are properly or well combined if the only thing you've done with your father rice is to steam it what else is there aside steaming Oh yeah, let's make a father rice swell. You say what? If I don't shock you on this app, who will? That one, you are mistaking my dear sister. Nothing shocks me on this app anymore. In fact, all the shock in my body has been shocked away. <laughs> okay guys, here is my father rice. I'm going to be washing that. You want to wash it till it's clean. Now what you're going to do is to allow this soak for a few hours, right? Pour that water out and you want to make sure you are able to break the rice seed with your finger to show you that it's truly soft, right? And then pour that into your butchin mix blender. Pour some Public service announcement. Please, ban blenders. Let's go back to the days of the old where we have grinding stones. And let's see how many people will be able to blend things with their grounding stone. Now you're going to get your pot that's already been heated up. Pour that smooth rice blend into that pot and you're going to stare and stare on low heat until it thickens up like this. I'm staring. By the way, you want to make sure that the rice has no stones in it, right? And guys... Offer that swallow. Oh.
this is what we have a father rice swallow if you're feeling this recipe type shock also we are honestly done from being shocked all of our shock is gone instead of making your eba like this do this instead i am short of words eba in food processor seriously you know what ban food processors ban blenders please do us this favor just ban them oh my goodness you know what i'm short of words you they use your food to play you they use your generation to play do me a favor please get out of here get out of here man